And when you look at it, in 1964, mm -hmm. yes, during the visit of the Queen of England, mm -hmm. and uh, your play was staged. It was just a coincidence. It was like to stage, but really it was meant for Saadia Malakija mm -hmm. to read the final passage of Saadia Malakija. And the last one was staged in 2017 which was also to read the final passage of the late Obadini Yekini Legushi, the Legushi of Ikate That's land, right, yeah. and also to commemorate the 50 years Lagos celebration Lagos. of Lagos State. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it, Eyo play, Eyo is not just something, it's not like any other play. It is not an hard one thing. Mm. I remember my first Eyo, I participated in Eyo in 1978 as a young man. Wow, how old were you? No, I was just about six, seven years ago. Okay. Seven years old. Right. Then they call us fancy ayo. Right. You know, your heart is going to be well decorated. Of course. Of course. And you're going to move it because it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's something that everybody look up to. Mm -hmm. And it's like if you grow up in Lagos Island, if you are from a royal family or a chieftaincy family, or you're an indigenous Lagos Islanders, you all look forward to it. Mm -hmm. There's no time that your play will be staged and you will not see tourists, people, Lagosians from all walks of life, okay. coming from all over the world. Okay. That is the biggest traditional and the tourist festival we have in Lagos. Okay. What is the process that takes, that gets you to a, what is the process? So when somebody dies, is there a discussion? Who yeah. are the people that get together? And how do we get to the actual staging? Yeah. And I like the fact that you use staging yeah. rather than festival, yeah. because we do tend to use festival. So tell us very short about the process that goes from, okay, yeah. an illustrious son has died, and now we're going to be staging it on this day. What's the time period as well? Please tell us in short. Yes, words. once um, Eddie family, yes, is interested in staging a year for the final burial rite of their sons or daughter, you will have to first uh, discuss with the Oba of Lagos, mm -hmm. who is the paramount ruler and the mm -hmm. custodian. And of course, the Oba of Lagos will send words to the Adimu conclaves, headed by Akishiko, where you have the Logun Ago and Ologun Ibesode. So they will definitely call a meeting and discuss entirely all the things that need to be done. There are a lot of rites that will be performed. It takes well minimum of three months. Wow. It's, it's, it is in stages. And you know, we have um, so many AYO groups in Lagos, but we have five principal AYO groups. Please tell us who they are. Yes, AYO Ademo is the number one. That's right. Followed by AYO Kolaba, which is called Olokpo AYO. Then the next one is AYO Niko, then AYO Logede, then AYO Gere. Then any other one, they have all the chieftains' houses, have their own AYO. There is even some instance where prominent Lagosians had been bestowed with Eyo by the then Oba of Lagos. At that point, maybe the person has performed so well, has done something very well for the development of Lagos, and KBC will look, oh, oh, I think this family will also be staging, and Eyo, Eyo group will come out from that. So it is something that any time there's going to be an Eyo play, yeah, everybody, if you have the blood of Lagos, and Lagos Island and Isalikoini, you wherever you are, you want to make it down to Lagos. Because it is yeah. not just an ordinary festival. It is not just an ordinary play. It is something that is synonymous with Lagos. It's something that we, we're so passionate about. It is the only thing, the biggest thing we have in Lagos, the only tourist thing we have in Lagos. Okay. And so we find it very, very difficult. And we cannot even comprehend it for somebody elsewhere because you wanted to make money to now depict and desecrate that okay. in the interest so, of whatever you stand for. That brings me to my next question. That Gangs of Lagos, which yeah. I have watched, yeah. is, I've watched it too. is just over two hours. Yeah. It tells a wide story. Yeah. It tells the story of four, I think it's four, three or four children who are growing up in Lagos, in Isaliko, who are trying to find their way in life, albeit within the concave of, you know, sort of navigating Isaliko within the structure of Isaliko as a community, if you like, as a precinct, as, as a borough, right? That's what it tells you. And it then tells you the sort of ups and downs, you know, the, 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 the falls and the ups that gets them there against the backdrop of the elders, two or three elders. We have two mothers. Okay, I'm just setting the scene. We have two mothers who are prominent in there. We have two or three men 
okay, who are prominent in there and how they influence the growing up of those children. Now, Ayo is only a part of that story. So tell us, what exactly is it that the Iju group, the Isaliko Descendants Union, find offensive in that film? Just two. Go ahead. If you watch the film very well, yeah. they, um, in the, at the beginning of the film, they said um, Isaliko is the den of gangsters, okay. criminals. Okay. That is totally untrue. Okay. Isaliko has produced prominent Nigerians, prominent Lagosians. The first Nigerian to ever serve as the president of the World Court is from Isaliko, the late professor, Justice Dr. Teslim Olawale Elias. Mm -hmm. There's so many attorney generals from Lagos. There's so many first accountant generals from Lagos. There's so many permanent secretaries. There's so many business moguls. There's so many, there's so many illustrious sons and daughters of Lagos who are indigenous of Isaliko. So for somebody to depict and say that Isaliko is the den of criminals, gangsters, and murderers, it is totally unacceptable to us. But what if that I is one. To you, do you want, can I speak now? Yeah, Should I yeah, let you finish? Yeah. What if I said to you, I'm a big fan of NWA, mm. right? NWA is one of the biggest rap groups yeah. from when I was growing up, yeah. right? Now, NWA and rap in general and music, and I'm blending from American culture, come, tend to, most of them tend to come from precincts like the Bronx. I've been to the Bronx. I've yeah. lived in the Bronx for a short while, right? Which are synonymous, or if you say, uh, they have perceived violence or they're synonymous with violence, mm. but they still produce some of the most successful artists. What if I said that to you? Does that preclude what the fact that the Bronx can be but dangerous? Then, but then Isaliko mm -hmm. is not dangerous. Okay. Isaliko is never the den of gangsters. Okay. Is there's so many places in Lagos in Nigeria that are worse. Yes, fine. You can say Isaliko is predominantly an indigenous setting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is not. I grew up on the island. We walked length and breadth of the island. I had my primary school, my first early years of my secondary school on the island okay. before I moved to the mainland. Okay. I said all my life in Isaliko. I go there almost every day. Okay. So, so Isaliko is not the den of a gangster or a murderer. I think okay, that is a country. A, 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 a contractions of what is Saliko truly represent and what Italico eats today. Okay, your second point then before we go. To yes, the, the second We're point is there. also to say that um, Ayo is the first gang of Lagos. Is the gangs of murderers, gangsters that goes to parties um, with AK forty sevens, um, kill, assassinate, goes everywhere. And that is not it. Mm -hmm. I told you my first Ayo was in nineteen seventy eight. Mm -hmm. I'm over 50. It's in 1978. Mm -hmm. Up to now, there's no single area that happened that had not been part of it. Mm -hmm. I've been a member of um, Ademo for 23 years. I've seen a lot. But then it is nothing. Nothing like that. Ayo is always peaceful. Ayo is the best cultural um, um, festival you want to watch. And let me is tell you... Ayo always peaceful though? Because let me tell you again. Yeah. I'm going to just bring this in yeah i also before going to england as a child yeah. used to go yeah. to ayo i yeah. would attend ayo yeah my mother is that lagos island yeah that you're talking about and she would take us there yeah. but we would know that from about six seven eight o'clock colomo send your child inside because no, there were likely to be skirmishes no 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 really let me yeah? just tell you let me tell you something you know anytime from like six o'clock mm -hmm. That is towards the end. Mm -hmm. We call it Ajankoro. That is when all the Ayos are going back to their various palaces. Right. And the main Ayo, Ademu, will be the last. You know, we're going to fight. You know, normally in the morning, we'll fight. The first to come out will be Ayo Ademu, then Laba, Oniko, Ologede, Agere. Are we going to but, go and break? But in the okay. evening. Let me okay, 